Hello Flosstube, welcome back to my very long overdue video. Uh, my name is Kenny, I'm Kenny Stitches here on Instagram and Flosstube. And this is my post market haul video. Um, I'm gonna show some stash that I got prior to market and some that I got after and everything I've got at market. Um, I was lucky enough to go again this year with Karen of Meridian Designs. Um, I stitched one of her models, Bitty Bites, um, one of her market releases this year, um, and we had a very good time. A um, lot of positive responses to Karen's models and her um, designs. Um, it went very well. And then I was lucky enough to be able to go around and meet um, several designers and shop owners and um, different vendors this year, um, and it was a really good time. So thank you, Karen, for allowing me to go back with you this year. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to start with finishes. I've had two finishes besides that model. Um, this is Chocolate Bunny. It's by Karen at Meridian Designs. Um, the fabric, I don't know what it is. It's a, it's an even weave and I think it might be a sugar maple fabric, but, um, he's super cute. He's got his little ear bitten off. Um, I did swap the Krennix that she called for for Petite Treasure Braid just because at the time the Krennix were kind of hard to get. But I think they turned out super cute and they look pretty close to the actual photo. So um, that is my little chocolate bunny. I think I'm going to try to maybe finish him into a pillow. Um, my friend Julie um, at Whip It Up Project Bags, she... Um, taught me at a retreat last year how to get more like comfortable with my machine and we made this together she calls it a whop it bucket um, it sits on my sewing table yeah I got a sewing table for Christmas and I've barely used my machine so I guess I better get into it <laughs> um, my other finish this is kiss me from Shannon Christine um, it's stitched on a 28 count linen from Silk Weaver. Um, it didn't have a name on it. It's just a unnamed piece that they had. Everything's as charted, all the colors and everything. Um, and it's the first one in a series of five she did. She released five different cups um, over the course of five Fridays. Um, and they're all super cute. The rest of them are bunnies and spring and eastery, but they're all super cute. Um, piece of haul I got, my friend Jennifer she does the Michigan Stitchers Retreat, and she started a business, um, and I'll probably butcher the name. It's called Arachne Needlecraft Creations, and she makes um, tote bags. And she posted this medium tote. It's Alice in Wonderland, my favorite. Um, it's a good size. It'll hold my project bag and an 11, 11, 11 by 11 project. Um, has a cute snap closure. And then the inside is this cute white rabbit fabric. It's very well made, very quilted. It's quilted, very sturdy, stable. Um, I carry it to and from work every day with my project in it. Sometimes like a bottle of water or, you know, an empty cup. Um, <clears throat> she has a Facebook group. It's Arachne, A-R, let me see here. A-R-A-C-H-N-E, Needlecraft Creations. Um, you can find her on Facebook. She will post available fabric she has, and then she'll post, um, once she has a stash of bags to sell, she'll post that she's gonna drop them on like a Saturday afternoon. So very well made, very highly recommended. Um, I got, I saw someone, uh, Pam from Pam and Steph, had stitched the six fat snowmen from Lizzie Kate. It was on their winter wall and I got this off of eBay. Um, super cute. I can't wait to stitch this. And then my friend Jenny, she ordered two of the Bella Filipina Holly Berry Pixie um, and she sent me this one. I think I'm gonna stitch this on Daybreak from Fabrics by Stephanie. It's very close, a little bit softer than this fabric here, but the same color family. I came back from market 
and they the charts I did not get at market that were sold out, um, I ordered from the Crafty U um, in Ohio, and they had these two charts on clearance, which I wanted. Um, this is Hoop, there it is, from the Heartstring Samplery. And Whip It Good, also by the Heartstring Samplery. Samplery. Um, my friend Jules, she tagged me in a post on Facebook, and um, we're both huge Alice in Wonderland fans. Um, there was a stash group, um, and she was de-stashing this Disney kit that I've wanted for forever in a day. Um, and it was, it's very reasonable. Um, I'll probably swap out the white Ada for like a, like a sky blue hand dye maybe, which means I'll have to stitch in this tablecloth and her apron, but I think it'll be really pretty on a hand dyed. Um, <clears throat> I got a gift card from work for Christmas and I used it to buy, um, I wanted to try the Luca S kits. Um, I followed them on Instagram and Facebook and I, um, this is one of the kits I got. Um, White Santa with Christmas tree. Now there's a fuller, like a full longer design that's not as cropped as this, that's very pretty, but I love the colors in this one. I started it and I have like five rows of white up here is all I've got done so far. But the kits, if you haven't had them and you've been kind of wondering, the kits are very well put together. The charts are like oversized large grid charts. Um, they're spread across, this one's spread across eight, 11 by 17 pages. And the chart, I mean, it's only, oh, it's not, it's maybe like 180 by 250 maybe, if that, I'm just guessing. Um, but very well made. Um, if you sign up on their website, they'll send you like a 15, I think, percent off coupon for your first order for their mailing list. Um, and I ordered this one from the United Kingdom. Um, that's where they're based. And it took about two and a half weeks to get. So very, um, very reasonable time frame. Then I ordered, this was on clearance. It's another Luca S. It came with my Santa. Um, I think once their kits go on clearance, they're no longer in production, but um, I thought this was just really pretty. Then this is my other kit that I got, um, Christmas shopping. This will take forever, but I love all the ornamentation and everything up here and I just thought it was super, it was pretty. And then I'm a, I'm a sucker for dogs. Little lab truck, labs truck, super cute. I also got a um, Letty Stitch kit. Um, my friend Cassie at Autumn Lane Stitchery started this one. Um, she put it on her floss tube and it's been on my wish list for a while, but this is um, Into Dreamland. Sorry for the crinkle. Um, it's another full coverage kit. The difference, the Letty Stitch fabric is gridded, um, which is nice, especially on a piece like this. So, and they come with anchor threads, both, um, both kits come with anchor thread, um, which I don't mind working with. And you can see like they're bobbinated already on these cards with the symbols and everything. Both, both kits are like that. So, um, if you've been on the fence and you decide you want to try one, um, I would, I'd say go for it. Then my last non-market haul, um, I got these needle minders. I think they're from Mind Your Needle on Facebook. Um, this is Blanche and Rose. And then Dorothy and Sophia. Little clay needle minders, they're so cute. I'm so terrified I'm gonna break them so they're still in the package. Um, but I love them. I love the Golden Girls, uh, as you saw by my Wapit bucket earlier. Um, so um, I'll show you the two whips that I've been working on. Um, they were both from the market. As soon as I got home and got all my materials, I had to start them. So my first two pieces of market haul um, I got the North Pole from the Primrose Cottage, 
in the last two years I've went to market, I always look forward and going in and seeing the Primrose Cottage Gals. Um, they're super sweet and their designs are so cute. Um, I got all the over dyed threads for this. Um, and the book looks really well done. Each section is charted across two large pages um, and it's full color, a full color chart. So, you know, you can stitch them individually, you can stitch them in sections, however you want to do them, but they're very well done. And it calls for, I mean, it has 20 skeins of over dyed floss, but it does give you a DMC conversion. So, um, and here's where I am. I started this a couple days ago. Um, so I'm missing the yellow. I was sent the wrong color um, for the lights up here and it's used other places in the design, designs, but um, this is 28 count Opal Lugana stone wash from under the sea fabrics. And you can see like this section I'm almost done with. I have to fill in the post here, finish the light bulbs and then do the North Pole part. But it's stitching up pretty quickly. Um, I think this is about two or three days of progress. So um, that's where I'm at. And I haven't been able to put this one down. So then before I got the over dies, I started um, the farmhouse sampler from Erin Elizabeth. If you don't know Erin Elizabeth Designs, she is Shannon Christine's sister of Shannon Christine Designs. And she um, had several market releases this year. This was my favorite of her designs. Um, and I just, I mean, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a country person, but I love this chart here. Um, and I'm stitching it on 40 count green tea from under the sea fabrics. Um, that's pretty accurate right there. Um, I had all the colors when I got home to start except I think 844 and I wanted to go into the roof but of course that was the main roof color so I just kind of you know started filling in here and down the side so um, I think I'll go back and forth between this and um, the North Pole so Hopefully next video you can see the progress on those. Um, I, so I'll just, I have everything sorted by the designers I went to. Um, so hands on design, I got their two, well, their two polar plunges that they had in stock. This is Whale Hello there. And this is Wally the Walrus. By the time I got to walk around Saturday, they were sold out of the polar bear, but Kathy was so nice to me. Um, she found me in another designer's room and she's like, go tell my husband that, to take your information down and I will send you the polar bear because I told you not to pre-order that I'd have plenty. So she's going to send me the polar bear, but these are super cute. Um, I kind of think I want to come up with a border for them um, and maybe stitch them all in just one piece. I, the finishes are super cute, but I am a horrible finisher. I've never attempted to finish anything. So if I can stitch them all in one piece and just frame them that way, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I got the Enchanted Quaker from Luminous Fiber Arts. Little fun, cute Halloween Quaker sampler. Um, Tell an Emblem. Um, this is Love Bugs. It was really pretty stitched up in the room. Her room had all of her models and they were so pretty. Um, this is Merry Christmas, a market release, and Happy Halloween. Um, the, then I went to Silver Creek, or they're next. Um, I got the T-Rex chart. I love tea. Um, my friend at work, she has really gotten me into teas, loose leaf teas specifically. And so um, we're supposed to be getting an office and I want to stitch this and hang in our office. Um, I think it's super fun, super cute. This is Get Along Little Doggy. Is I, I love dogs, so I had to get this one. And then this is um, Kringle's Flying Academy. I think this was an older release, but um, super cute, super fun. And then this one sold out. This was the one I really wanted, but Crafty U came through. It was part of my market order from them. Um, introverted. Um, it says introverted, but will eagerly discuss everything cross-stitch. 
And if that's not 90% of the cross-stitch community, I don't know what is. Um, another chart that was sold out, the Crafty U, um, the Sting Like a Bee, and the Float, Float Like a Butterfly, the two companion pieces. Um, Plum Street and Heartstring Sampler did these together. Um, and they both were, they both sold out when I try to walk around Saturday or Sunday. So, um, Crafty, you had them and they shipped them very quickly. Um, another sold out chart was the Tortoise Tower. I have, I think, all of the tower, or the, you know, the stacks, except for maybe two. Um, these turtles are just so cute. And then... Starbarks was another market release. I love these little dogs. Um, I think these are so cute. Uh, Annie B's Folk Art. This is Welcome to Our Patch. Just cute little fall pumpkins. The colors are very pretty. Very, like, fall pastel-y, I guess. Um, Brittany at Ingleside Imaginarium. She had these two market releases I had to have. This is Melly Melon Eater. Super cute. Um, I think there's a pumpkin one that I did not get, which I will get. And then I think she's working on um, two other designs for the seasons. And this is Fox and Almonds. Um, this is actually charted using all of Almond, Almond m and silks um, that I did not know and I did not get. So I will probably just do the DMC conversion because I'm a cheap stitcher, so. Um, let me see here. October House Fiber Arts. This is the Tulip Cottage. I've never heard of this designer before, and I just kind of wandered in there. Um, I thought this was just kind of cute. Um, very springy. And I got Erica Michaels, The Beach is Calling. I love this crossword. I have this one and I have the Halloween one. Um, the drum is super cute. Again, I'm not a finisher, so who knows if maybe I can do the drum. Well, the drum's that, so maybe I won't. I'll just do the crossword part. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I met Lindy, Steph Stephanie from Lindy Stitches. She was so nice. Um, my friend Carrie does a lot of models for her. Um, and she actually lives in Indiana, so, um, I got her spooky book. There's six, there's three, and then there's three other designs in this book. <coughs> Excuse me. These, this is my favorite one, and the goth chicken. I will stitch both of those at some point. Excuse me. And then she had the little brown bird. I think this was a market release. This is so fun. And then of course I went, Jody from Satsuma Street was back at market and I love Jody. She's the nicest person and her designs are so colorful. Um, she released four ornament kits. They're called Sprigamajigs. <laughs> These are the bunnies. There's enough in there to stitch both. Um, everything's included in the kits. All her ornament kits, everything's included. So if you've never stitched one of her ornament kits, these are great. If you've never beaded before, these are great to like st a first project to start beading. Or if you've never done an ornament, her kits are great. Um, these are the butterflies. <clears throat> <coughs> and then birds. and eggs, little Easter eggs. Um, another designer I just kind of wandered into that I've never heard of, um, Sweet Wing Studio. This is Love Thy Neighbor, little cat and dog in the neighborhood. And this is the Peach Tree Park Sampler. They seem like little quick, easy stitches, um, very cute. I picked up, and I think this is Debbie Mama Bear Stitchery's fault. She showed this to me. It's the Spring Underwood from Filigram. 
little fox. Sorry about the glare. So we moved into this house last year and I normally have been filming in the kitchen because my craft room was upstairs and it's very dark and it was very dark upstairs. So I'm trying to figure out, we moved it downstairs to the spare bedroom and I'm trying to figure out the whole lighting situation in here. Um, I ordered a ring light from Timu. Um, I've heard people talk about Timu and I ordered a ring light. So we'll see once that comes what the situation is. So, but I digress. Um, I went into Big Creek and got Fright, one of their new market releases. And then Silver, Bell, Silver Bell's Globe. I love these snow globe kits. Everything's in there. They're stitched on like a um, 20 count linen over two with pearl cottons. And these snow globes, everything's included. So then this is Saint Santa's Hat of Holly. Gifts some ho 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 and peppermints. Another kit that everything's included in. And I cannot, I cannot go to market and not buy needle minders. Um, Accoutrement Designs was there and I love their needle minders. I got this Merry Christmas snow globe. It's very glittery. Um, I got a stitch. I love stitch. And a nutcracker. I love nutcrackers. Um, anything like the nutcracker stitching I have and will stitch. <laughs> and then this is an Alice in Wonderland. This is my favorite one. I love everything about this one. And then Bo Bover Art. They are a glass needle minder company. They were there. This is a fused glass magnet needle minder. Um, it's constellation or it's stars. They have like a big dipper constellation too, but I just love the stars. It's this really pretty, it's hard to, really pretty navy blue with this gold. I love their needle minders. Um, some bigger, let's see. Back to Plum Street, or Primrose Cottage. I got their spring, little cute spring bunny, little chicks, um, and winter. I think this was a retreat exclusive at one point, but they had released it at market. Um, I love, I love these. I can't wait for the other two seasons. Um, Luminous Fiber Arts. I got Hocus Pocus. And Hop, Peep, Leap. I love these little blocks. They have a Christmas one that I have started and they have a Halloween one that was a Sal. Um, these are super cute, super fun. And this is one of my favorite market releases. When I saw it, I had to, I knew I had to get it. It's the Nutcracker from Plum, or I keep wanting to say Plum Street, Twin Peak Primitives. Um, I love this. And they had it stitched in the room and it was so beautiful. So pretty. Um, I got the Vanishing Isle from Autumn Lane Stitchery. Little cute turtle. And then from my friend Karen, I got her Juliana, her new mermaid. Um, she has the line of the full figure mermaids of different, you know, skin tones and um, ethnicities. And this one's super cute. My friend Carrie model stitched it. Um, and I got the silks from Dinky Dyes. There we go. Those are the silk shoes in the pattern. This was one of my other favorite market releases. Um, Summer Quaker from Leela Studio. I love her Quakers. This is so pretty. Um, I went into a room. I went to Heartstring Samplery's room to get the Sting Like a Bee pattern that they were out of. Um, but they were sharing a room with another designer um, who was her first time at market. Um, and I think they're called Posey. Yeah, Pose, Posey by Alicia Paulson. Um, I got some of her 
designs. This is um, the Nutcracker Suite. I'll bring that, there we go. This is my Sweetie Pie ABCs. This one's pretty, be a quick stitch. It's called First Snow. And then this one's called Evening Skate. And then when you bought charts, then they gave you this as a free chart. It's called the Homeschool Sampler. It's cute. I don't know that I, I'll stitch it myself, but it's a cute freebie, and it's packaged to I me mean, like a nice, you know, a real chart. A real chart, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I went to RETM and got, I love these chickens. I love these chickens. The Gallo family. These are, um, these are charred in Cosmo Floss. I've never used the Cosmo Floss. Um, if you have and have an opinion of it, you can let me know in the comments. I found a conversion online for, you know, Cosmo or DMC. Um, so if they're great, I'll try them. If you tried them and you don't like them, um, I'll probably swap them to DMC. Um, this is the Merino couple. Little sheeps. Super cute. And then the Ibex couple. I love these. Love these goats. Satsuma Street, I got the Animal House. Um, this was a sale last year. The colors are so pretty, so bright. Look at this little sloth, the little turquoise sloth, and then the flamingos, kangaroo. Just fun. That little giraffe in the window up there. Um, I got the Wizard of Oz sale that they did to go with the Alice in Wonderland sale that is not finished. <laughs> Super cute, her colors. Everything's just, I love Jody's designs and her eye for color. Um, I went to um, Rosewood Manor um, and I got, this is October 31st. Super fun pumpkins. Um, they're all charred in DM, these are charred in DMC. Um, I got the Quaker Diamonds, my friend Janet showed us a picture that she was about to start this while I was at market and I that's why I went into Rosewood Manor to see if they had their back catalog um I'm not sure about Valdani threads I've heard good and bad um but I think Vicki Clayton I think is her name does the thread conversions so I'll probably order those and then this is Merry Christmas or Christmas quilts it says Merry Christmas but this is so pretty and beautiful in person. I'm pretty sure there's metallics in it in, in person, um, but it's so pretty. And then this is Dragon's Blood from Tempting Tangles. And I got the thread pack from Dinky Dyes. It's called, it's Fireside Thread Silks. Um, glare, sorry. And then Shannon Christine, she gets me. This is Hello Spring, super fun colors. My friend Claudia stitched this and that made me want to stitch it. And then my friend Jen of Upton Stitches, Jen Upton, she is stitching the Easter tree. Um, super cute. This little chick up here is so sweet. <laughs> And then I got the Easter Bunny. Um, they were through Dinky Dyes, Shannon and her sister Erin. And I had went through, you know, it was Sunday at the end of the day. They were one of my last stops. And she's like, they were sold out of so many of Shannon and Erin's patterns. And um, I said, oh, you're sold out. She's like, yeah, we can ship them to you. I was like, oh, that's okay. I'll just, you know, buy them, you know, from Shannon or Erin directly. 
And she's like, oh, it's, you know, an hour till closing. Just take these off the wall. <laughs> Just take these off the wall and buy them. So this one and a couple other Shannon designs. I got the, literally the displays. So they were super nice. Um, this is Erin Elizabeth Designs, her sister. Um, this is the Spring Tier. I won't stitch, I know I won't stitch it on black. I hate stitching on black, but I'll find something to make it pop. And then this is the nautical tier. Super cute. And I think that's my last, my last chart. Um, that's, oh, fabric. I did get fabric at market. So I went to Forbidden Fiber Arts and I don't know what I'll use it for or how I'll divide it up, but I got a yard of 40 count hibiscus. That's super pretty and very accurate in the video there. Who needs a yard of 40 count fabric? But apparently it's not about need, is it? Um, fiber on a whim. I have never stitched on a fiber on the whim fabric before, but, um, I went in there. This is raspberry. It's a 40 count linen. And that's pretty accurate. I, lo I love it. I'll figure out something to stitch on that. Maybe a long dog or something. Um, this is spicy mustard from Fiber on a Whim. Another 40 count fabric. It's a little bit more yellow in person. But... There we go. That's that's it right there. And then my friend Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics, I walked around with her a little bit and we went into Dames of the Needle and we we got this fabric and we split it. She took a fat hat or a fat quarter and I took a fat quarter. Um, this is Sweeney Red. It's opalescent linen, 32 count. And I don't know what to put on it, but it's so beautiful. Um, this is 40 count from Black Cauldron Needleworks. It's Pineapple Express Opal 40 count. It's a very soft kind of bright yellow, but it's not like obnoxious yellow. <laughs> and then I've been on a Lugana kick lately, apparently. Um, this is a 32 count Opal Lugana Melon, Melancholy Baby. Really pretty peachy pink. Um, my friend Emma was at market with us and she we actually both bought I bought this one she bought the yellow and we split it and we each took a quarter of what the other had so um, I love Susan and her fabrics they're so different um, not bad different very good different and she's so nice and then my last piece of fabric um, this is 32 count Opal Lugana called Tropical Depression. I'll just show you a quarter, but I got a full half of it. Um, I think it'll be good for like Halloween pieces maybe. So that is everything from my market haul um, and my most kind of recent stash update. So um, I will, this is probably halfway through March. Yeah, today's the 8th, 19th. So either the end of March or maybe the first weekend in April, I'll, pro I'll try my best to be back with a regular update, um, show more progress on Farmhouse Sampler and the um, Welcome to the North Pole. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for coming back after such a long way. I think it's been seven ish months maybe but thank you for waiting thank you for coming back um 
you can share the video if you'd like, subscribe, comment. Um, I love reading your comments. So um, again, thank you guys for watching and I will be back with my next update. Bye.